Welcome to Eat Your Backyard. Would you like to eat that? Or that? Or any of these? Look at how many. What are they? What are Suriname Cherry? Look at that. That, my friends, is a ripe Suriname Cherry. Now watch what happens. So delicious. Now it's gone. I just ate it. And it produces these two pits. These two pits will sprout very easily. I'll throw them in my lawn because I know they'll sprout and then they'll just get mowed over and they'll die. But, I mean, I could come out here and eat five cups of Suriname cherry, which are incredibly high in vitamin C. Really rich in antioxidants, I'm told. I think in southern Florida they're kind of considered to be a somewhat invasive because of how quickly they grow and how easily they propagate. In Central Florida where I'm at, you know, there's several varieties that you can get your hands on. Look, that's, how long did that take me? 20, 20 seconds? But I got, I got a couple here that, you know, they don't look too good. I'll just let them go. This one, a little soft. That one's got a little, little bug action going on it. Other than that, though, oh yeah, those all look tasty. And I'll tell you what, the ones that are orange, like that one, over here, that one will be a little more crunchy and a little more tart, but delicious. Some people call these Chinese lanterns. Can you get over it? That is just incredible. And this thing is just filled top to bottom with nothing but sweet, sweet cherries. You might try to grow one in your yard. They're incredibly easy to grow. Now, the weird thing is, I have another one over here I planted from a seed. Some years it produces incredible quantities. Other years, not too much, but this year it did produce some. Here's one from this tree. Um, it's a little bigger than from the other bush. It's a lot more scarce though. They're in here though, there's plenty in here. You could still have a good time finding cherries and eating them, but it's just not the same quantity. And this one I grew from a pit. Mm. That one tastes so good also. But anyhow, the Suriname cherry, not to be confused with any other kind of cherry which you may encounter like the Bing cherry growing up north or the delicious, I don't know how many kinds of cherries, but anyway, Suriname cherry comes in black, it comes in red, there's different kinds you can grow. They're very easy to grow, very easy to grow from seed. But the important thing to realize is make sure you get one that tastes good. Taste the fruit of the variety before you buy it. If you can find one that's blooming or find a seed off one that you like the flavor of, I found some don't taste very good at all uh, to me. And others are just incredibly delicious, so it really makes a difference. Uh, go ahead and share your experience with the, with the Suriname cherry, the Chinese lantern fruit. And let me know what you think. I love them. I got them in my backyard and I eat them all the time. My kids look forward to it and I look forward to it every year. Maybe we'll make some preserves. Hmm. Yes, I think I will. If you like this channel, subscribe. If you do not like it, well, I guess you already stopped watching. <laughs> if you liked it, give it a like. Thanks for watching.